Uh oh, SpaghettiO. <laughs> I was just leaving the house and Mia's coming with me. We were going to go visit my sister or go to Walmart, whatever, just kind of run around. I was thinking about buying a top. And he said to her um, something about. I know this because she told me. Daddy said that you. What does she need to go to the store for anyway? And she's been drinking so she shouldn't be driving. And I was like, well, that's total bullshit because over the past two hours, I've probably had not even a half a glass of wine. Like he has no idea. And I told him, I said, go pour the wine back in the bottle and see how much I've drank. I am. What are you doing? I said, if you think, if you even think about fucking with my kids, that's when we're going to have a problem. And he's like, what are you talking about? Who even says stuff like that? And I said, let me tell you something. And this is the uh -oh, spaghetti -o part. I said, um, when my parents had a divorce, it was a shit show. Okay. It was a shit show and it was chaos. And my dad was choking my mom, slapping my mom. Um, he had a gun. He was maybe going to shoot somebody one day. Another day, he's thinking about driving off a cliff and killing himself. It was a freaking shit show. I said, I don't want that. Like I told you, I want peace. And I'm trying to be a peaceful person. But for some reason, all of a sudden, you think you're going to ask me, which you've never done, where are you going? How long are you going to be gone? When are you going to be back? Where are you going? How long are you going to be gone? When are you going to be back? Blah, 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 blah. Asking me. And that's how the conversation was inside. But just before I left, I'm like, why are you, why are you asking me questions all of a sudden? Oh, I care about you. Oh, bullshit. You never, <laughs> oh, you call us, you care about me now. Why? I don't know. Don't talk about it. I have no idea what the hell is going on with him. But We've had, I have been open, honest, and truthful and forthcoming with him, my children, everything. I've been forthcoming. We've had conversations. He knows what exactly is going on in my life. And I have told many close people to me, but uh oh, SpaghettiO, I said, divorce. And I saw in his face that maybe our last few conversations are coming together and now I'm afraid of what he might say or do only because not afraid 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 concerned is the word I'm almost done thank you I closed the door thank you I asked her to step outside because I don't think this is something that she needs to hear right now but I need to say I have already had conversations with him he has already been told everything except their one single word. He has not asked questions, nor has he seemed um, sad. Nope, quite the opposite. He's maybe trying too hard for some things that are like, what's going on? Okay, yeah, you're getting the hint that I'm pissed off. You really don't know. And I have shared things with him too songs, whatever, my way to communicate. And if that, you can't listen to my way of communicating, that's just confirmation for me that, uh, we don't connect. We don't connect. We don't understand each other. Um, this whole conversation we already had, but anyway, holy shit, scooby dooby. I besetted. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All of them together. Um, I said the word, I made it, I mean it a hundred percent. I know people, th they're going to think I'm an asshole because of the timing. Like Alfred tried to call me an asshole today. And I told him I am not an asshole. I am not an asshole. I've had the conversation with Leo and I told him I love him and I will see him through everything that's going on. I am not an asshole. So I won't be talking to him. Okay. You can come in. And basically I told him I'm not an asshole. And then, um, I think he kind of understood where I was coming from, but the conversation started because I told him, um, you were wrong 
and he got mad and I told Mia to take a walk and I said, listen, I don't mean anything to blame anything on anybody or anything like that. I'm just messing with you. And he got all defensive and said some kind of bullshit about things. And I just told him straight to his face, I am not an asshole. And when I told Mia something about that, I said, listen, the reason he's saying that is because he's been an asshole. Said he's been an asshole. I'm not an asshole. I don't do stuff like that. And you know what's funny is when I talked to her a few days ago and she was telling me some bullshit to lie about. Yes, she was telling me some bullshit to lie about. And I said, Cindy, um, I'm not a liar. Never have been nor do I plan to have no reason to be. And um, I think everything that the conversations I've been having with God lately, um, I don't think now's the time for me to start lying to you. She kind of shut up. And I'm, I was like, no, um, obviously can't talk to her about much because her advice ain't worth shit because I know what she put her I know what she put Alfred through, and I know what he put her through, and a lot of people do stupid shit, and I told Leo twice, I am not like that, he is not like that, we love our kids, and nobody has said anything about anybody moving out, or, you know what I mean, nobody's kicking anybody out, and to the curb, none of that shit, so, anyway, people like that just don't even try talking to them because it ain't even worth your breath. They don't have any idea how to do things in a peaceful manner anyway. And their lives are pretty much chaotic, which is why I don't spend a lot of time because it's always some kind of drama that I don't do. Okay. Love you, but I just don't. Okay. Anyway, peace and love. Bye. Thank you.